Welcome to a new episode of Don and Goes To. In this video, we're going to go to the top three markets in Hua Hin, and we're going to try the food and see what they have to offer. But make sure to stay till the end so you can see a full comparison of the markets. Let's go. Our first stop is the Cicada Market, a weekend market that serves as a hub for artists and designers. Upon entering, you are immediately transported to a world of creativity, art, and music. The vibrant energy and beautiful handmade crafts make it one of the most popular markets in Hua Hin. Cicada has four zones, Art a la Mode, Art of Act, Art of Eat, and Art of Earth. Each zone has its own unique vibe and offers something different. The attention to detail in each piece is remarkable and it's clear that the vendors take great pride in their work. There is also a variety of street food available, from fresh seafood to delicious desserts. The food itself is an experience and the atmosphere is very relaxed, making it the perfect place to spend a Friday evening. Here in the Cicada market you need coupons to buy stuff, so you have to go and buy coupons from a special booth, and then you use those coupons to buy stuff from the stands. So you can't just go with your cash and buy food. As you can see there are so many choices of food here. The thing is it's a little bit more expensive than the food courts in the mall, so if you go here you definitely don't go here for the prices, you go here for the experience and they have live bands, they have... I even seen a magician show here before and it was pretty funny. It is pretty overwhelming how much they have here. It's crazy, they have so much uh, clothes, they have even old camera stuff and they have chairs and golf stuff and everything you can imagine. And also they have like paintings you can buy. I'm not sure how you can fit that in your luggage when you're going home, if you hear a tourist or something. But uh, they have it, and that is awesome. <laughs> so this market is it's not that big, but it has so many things crammed into this small area. It is definitely worth a visit. The market offers more than 1,000 stands, and it's eco-friendly, so they have a policy of banning single-use plastics and encouraging visitors to bring their own bags and containers for shopping. And the market is open weekends, Friday to Sunday, from 4 p.m. until late at night. And now we are going to the Tamarind Market, which is a market just beside the Cicada Market. And here they only serve food. And the thing that I like about this market is that you can actually use cash. We love going to this market because it's easy to navigate and has lots of food choices. Like the Cicada Market, the Tamarind Market also have live music and is a popular place for dinner and drinks among both locals and tourists. And it's also open during the weekends from 5 p.m. to late at night. It doesn't matter if you go to Tamarind or Cicada, uh, you will have the pleasure of listening to great artists. I just love this place. Really good market. The only issue I have with Tamarind Market is that the seats are filled up so quickly. So you have to be here early if you want to see. And of course you can wait until somebody eats up and stuff. But people like to enjoy it here because it's so chill. The biggest issue for us is that we don't have any space. We can't buy any stuff. Naturally, we go to the places where they have a lot of food and this is one of those markets and they have a lot of food. We are just going to buy something to take away and we decided to buy smoothie. But I truly recommend this place. It's just incredible. Oh, this is a mango smoothie. It costs 65 baht. It is not the cheapest place either. Uh, the same as the Cicada market. You come here for the experience. They have live music. They have actually pretty good singers here. And it's a very good place if you want to go just for the food and have a nice dinner. Huihin has a lively night market that's been around since the 60s. And is one of the oldest and most popular night markets in Thailand. The market is located in the town center and offers a variety of vendors selling street food, clothing, handcrafts and souvenirs. It opens daily around 6 p.m. and stays open late at night, making it a popular spot for locals and tourists to shop, eat and socialize. The market is also the most affordable of the three, making it the perfect place to grab a bite to eat and enjoy live music performances. I have to tell you that, that was I, I've been comparing it to Chiang Mai and Kuala Lumpur and I feel that it's quite small to be honest. I thought it was going to be much bigger and what I could read was that it was supposed to be bigger but Hua Hin is a small town and uh, Chiang Mai is the second biggest town in Thailand and there is a big difference and that that market was huge it was actually too big in my opinion but uh, it is very very cozy once again there's not that many people if you compare it to the other cities we've been to 
and it's very relaxing. On the way here, when we were in our grab, we saw another market that we were going to. I have no idea what it is, but it looked really cool. But first, I'm gonna eat something. Hello, is this chicken? Could I have two? Cap con cap. So warm, super, super warm. I'm really sweaty, but this, yeah. Very good, yeah. I hope they're well done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mostly I found that they have seafood here and uh, I didn't feel like seafood right now. So we are going to the other market. This is a recommendation. It's one of the things you have to do in Hua Hin uh, because this is the most famous market, I think. Even if there wasn't that much to see here comparing to the other markets, it's still a must to go here. Hua Hin is a smaller city. It is a very nice and chill place. And if you want to relax and still have the experience of a market, then this market is really good as well. And I think all the three markets we've gone to in Hua Hin are really good. And the thing with this place is that it's open every night, which is crazy. So it's more like a daily festival, so to speak. Now we are going to the surprise market, the one we saw from our grab, and I'm looking forward to it because I have no idea what it is. I haven't read anything about it, so I don't want to miss that one. I couldn't actually vlog in there because it's so much happening. There is music, there is some kind of speaker in there, and there are different performances, but it was a really cool place, and I'm gonna put the location in the description. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna try to Google. Maybe this is a one-day thing, or I have no idea, but it was really cool. After searching the internet, we actually found out that this is a festival that is held every March at the Wat Nong Kei Temple, which is located across the street from the Cicada Market. And we were really happy to experience this local festival. However, we didn't stay that long because we were tired and I couldn't vlog in there because the music was super loud and there was so much going on in there. But we were so happy for the opportunity to be able to see it. After exploring the top three markets of Hua Hin, I can confidently say that it's a must visit for everyone traveling to Hua Hin. The markets offer an unforgettable experience. From the unique handmade craft to the delicious street food, there is something for everyone. The Cicada market is great for art lovers, the Tamarind market is perfect for food enthusiasts, and the night market is a lively spot for those who want to experience the nightlife of Hua Hin. And here are my pros and cons for each market. The Cicada Market has a vibrant arts and crafts scene, unique and handmade items, and is eco-friendly. But it can be overwhelming due to the large number of stalls. And you have to use coupons to pay for the food. The Tamarind Market. You can pay with cash, a widely variety of street food, and relaxed atmosphere. But it's smaller than the other markets, and it can be hard to get a seat. And the Night Market. It has affordable street food, large variety of vendors, and it's open every day. Some vendors may sell similar items and some vendors may sell cheap and mass-produced goods. I have to say that my personal favorite is the Cicada Market. We usually don't buy stuff, so we are there for the food and atmosphere, and I think that the Cicada Market has the best vibe overall and offers a very pleasant experience. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel content. Have a great day, bye-bye.